Hi guys, welcome to the video. As you can see, my K1C has arrived, so I'm going to do a little unboxing and see what's in the box and make sure everything came okay. Let's go. Okay, so another sticker pack and instructions there. And then the lid. compartment in here it's got power cable carbon filter and door handle check got nothing else in there okay oh. a little box with That? Oh, that's the display. <coughs> Spill holder. Ah, that's a lot better quality. So instead of giving the little wraps of um, filament, they've given you a mini roll, which is a lot better than what they used to do. So I like that a lot better already. This will be the toolkit, no doubt. Yep, toolkit. Now, I love these. These are a recent thing, and these are really good for getting um, clogs out of your print head. Okay, your normal, I think they're the good ones they gave with the max. No, bugger. Should have given the same snippers they gave with the max. The max ones are really good. Uh, what have we got in here? Ah, uh, just your spanner and, um, Allen keys, some rubber seal for the door, no doubt. Ah, yeah, bed glue. Now, I know a lot of people don't like bed glue, but I think it's really good. Um, the chance of maybe one of them failing because I haven't put a little bit of glue on my bed and it's easy to get off. Um, spanner, scraper, USB and some metal grease, so cool. That's your toolkit. Now that's a door protector. And I've just got to go get some help with that because I can't lift it out because my back sank for it. So perspex at the side, glass at the front. Okay, the door hinges are only a 90 degree one, so you need to be careful about that. Um, there's nothing in there. Nope. Okay, what's on here? Okay, so for anyone that doesn't like using glue, if you have a look on the, um, the build plate, it says put glue on. Now this is a um, non-textured board, it's a smooth board, which is probably why they need to use glue. I have ordered a, um, I ordered it with a printer, it comes in a bundle, so you get two rolls and a textured build plate um, for hardly anything extra. So I did order that, but they don't have them in stock, so they've shipped this and I'll ship that later, which is good. Okay, now. Okay, so let's put the, the uh, door knob or handle on the door. Get this back in. Okay, so what we're going to do is it's got little instructions on the packet. 
So basically the metal bit here goes on the window on the inside like so and with that you then put the screws free. So the screws come with these little washers um, I can see them tiny little washer things so I would suggest you put the screw through first or you're going to lose so just put the screw through it first put one up against the window and then just put the you can just push the plastic bit over tighten it or you're going to smash your window okay and our handle is on down here on the side there's a little hole and inside that is your voltage rating so I would suggest you get a torch shine the torch on and you can see inside it will say what the voltage rating is look in there's a little red switch in there and mine says 230 and I'm in 230 volt territory so make sure you check that before you turn it on now this make it a bit easier for us yeah. so that reflection away. okay so it is in the um, language part of things so we will select what language you want I want English can't talk anything else just here warning you to take those three screws out that we took out earlier holding the bed in place um, make sure you've got nothing in the area here and then there's a little um, privacy policy you need to have a read through and then accept and it's going to ask for your network so I'm just going to pump on my network okay so we're on Time zone, I am plus eight, I'm the same as China, down here in Perth, Western Australia. Cool. And here it's asking you to um, log into your Creality Cloud. So you get your phone, scan in the barcode, and it will add the printer to your Creality Cloud. Um, platform self -check press. Okay, so now it's just going to run through the self check. So it's going to do a calibration of the printer. So basically it's a matter of leveling the board, making sure the um, and doing the vibration checked, calibrate everything that way. So you can hear the fan noise and stuff. Um, I've sort of gotten used to that. It is sort of a loudish fan, but you need that for the speed. Um, that it's running to be able to cool the um, prints down um, I have it working like I do my videos and stuff right next to my K1 Max so um, which makes the same sort of noise I don't find it at the very start you go oh well, that's a bit noisy but you know before the day's even over you've sort of forgotten about it and just becomes part of my little garage noise also giving you a little list of everything it's got to do so it does a no heats the nozzle on the bed um, checks the fan so the heat break fan and then the main motherboard fan then does input sh shaking which is the vibration of everything and now it's doing an auto leveling so it's checking the bed making sure it's level so of course it doesn't want you to touch the machine while it's doing it or you might rock it and stuff and make it um, give a false reading so this is it doing a bed leveling normal sort of bed leveling touches the nozzle on the bed and the bed picks up 
the pressure that the nozzle puts on the bed I believe it's got four sensors on it on the plate one in each corner to check when the nozzle hits and the pressure so it can level out the bed and it has finished okay so okay, okay and we are ready to go okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the USB stick that came with the printer in I'm then going to have a look in the folder do this filament holder here delta barrel filament base yeah so I gather that screws onto the side somewhere oh yeah I can see that there um, it also asks if you want to do a calibration for a reprint. We've just done one, so I'm going to turn that off. I will, however. And away she goes. Got this heat and everything up now. Okay, so it's three about three and a half minutes to do the uh, calibration at the start a little bit of rough stuff you can see there is because I didn't push I didn't push the filament very far enough I forgot I loaded it up but didn't um, extract any so it just took a little while for the filament to come through sorry about that guys but we had a little mishap during the recording and I've lost lost that middle part of the video but needless to say the quality of the print is excellent and I've actually attached it to the K1 you can just see the little end of it where I'm attaching it um, the print is really smooth um, I've also got once I print out this little benchy I don't know if you can tell So no string in whatsoever. We'll just pull this off the plate. I haven't done anything to it. Except right that K1C on there. Roof is really good. So the quality of the bench is really good. And the um, spool holder thing works really well. <laughs> I've been printing that with it. Um, and I'm just about to start a whole bundle more prints with it. So. Okay, so that's in there. Let's have a look. So what I'm thinking is this should just spin around here. You probably need that to be going under there. And that should just click in there. There you go. Cool. And Trality even provided the screws for that little adjustment so excellent well done okay guys so there you have it I'm pretty impressed with the um, with the printer seems to go rather fast it does a excellent job that one print is just really good the crisp crisp writing and stuff on it is, is excellent um, I do like the fact that they've included the side mount on it um, I am going to put a longer bit of Bowden tube on not this long probably about half that just to pull the Bowden tube around the corner there um, but apart from that that's all I'm going to change okay guys don't forget to subscribe and like the video please um, it does help the channel out a lot um, and I will see you next week, hopefully. Okay, see you guys, bye. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these, or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. <laughs> okay, thanks guys, bye.